So, you've been growing your business. You started out with one of our Avance 1501C single head compact machines, and you're working too many hours now. So you kind of ask yourself, what's the next step? I want to show you the next step here, which is the Avance 1504 multi-head embroidery machine. 15 needles, four heads, generating four times as much output at one time as you would out of your single head. When you get a four head, similar to your single head, you're going to get two of everything for every head. Show you real quickly some of the hoops you're going to get. Just like you got on your single head, you're going to get your 9, your 12, your 15 centimeter hoops. You're going to get not two of those each. You're going to get two per head. You're going to get eight of each of these. You're also going to get the larger 20, which I already have hooped up here for the job we're going to do. You're going to get the 12 by 12 jacket back. And for those really big jobs, if you're doing varsity jackets, if you're doing uh, maybe doing patches for the uh, bikers and whatnot, this is a 16 by 16 jacket back as well. On top of that, you can get your hooping gauge like you had for your single head. You're going to get eight, two for each head, of the wide cap frames. The machine itself will hold a hundred designs, up to a million stitches, and it'll sew it up to a thousand stitches per minute. What that really translates into compared to your 1501C is literally you're really going to be able to sew up to 4,000 stitches per minute because there are four heads sewing 1,000 stitches a minute at a time. You know what? Before we go further, I wanted to show you one thing really impressive about this machine. If you get into doing certain types of materials where you may need to do repeat, step and repeat of really large designs, it comes with this bad boy. This is what's known as a sash frame or a border frame. And I'm going to probably walk this way, so I'm in the video. This is almost two feet, two and a half feet tall by almost two. seven and a half feet long. Two by right? seven. I want to get Sean out of the picture. Get Sean back in here. He's going to load up the design for you, show you the slight differences in how you load the design over your single head. Very much the same though, a lot more graphic interface. Hi, my name is Sean. I am here to show you how to load a design into the Avance 1504. Uh, you've got your USB key, stick it in the side slot. This was the last job that was saved. We will go ahead and exit this embroidery status. We will then come up to our diskette, go down to input, it will read the USB, we will scroll through until we find our design, press enter, it's going to input into design number 9, uh, we don't want to expand the satins, so we hit no, it's now processing it, continue to input, if you wanted to load more jobs at once you'd be able to say yes here, just keep loading them in for the day, if not, enter for no. We will then come up to our uh, uh, design management and we want to select the design for embroidery. We will then go in and select the design we just loaded. We will enter to confirm it. We then go back into embroidery status. It will show us our design on the screen. We will then come down and insert our colors. Go to input and repeat. And the colors are already uh, input into the design from a previous job. If you want to change it, type in the needle colors according to where you have your threads. Press enter. We will then go over and do a design range. Move frame along range. Trace out our design, make sure it fits in the hoop. If everything looks good, simply walk over and press start on the machine. Okay, great. So now Sean showed us how to load the design up. We've set our sew sequence. And as you see, we've already loaded up our hoops. One of the cool things I want you to notice we've got going on here, and it will really help you to understand production with the multi-head. We've already, before we start our job, hooped up our next set that we're going to be sewing out on this job. That's one of the keys with a multi-head that really gets you going. You're going to be able now, while it's sewing this set, get the next set ready. When this set finishes, pull it off, load these up, and bang, you're started right away. And it, it's, it's cliche, but I, and I say it all the time, but it's about the truest thing there is about embroidery. If it ain't making noise, it ain't making money. So you want to get the machine back up and running as quickly as possible. Once it's done, I'm going to take those ones that are off. I'm going to get them out of the hoop, get the next set hooped so they're ready. Then I'm going to worry about cutting away the backing, folding the garment, whatever it is. The idea is to minimize that time from when it stops to when you get it sewing again. So we've loaded the design, we've sent it on the hoop, we've done a trace, everything's good to go. Now's the part that I'm qualified to do.
finished sewing the job, we already had these set up. So what you do is you have your operator, not your salesman, go in, and he's actually going to change out all these hoops. Bang, bang, we're going to be ready to get this thing back up and sewing quickly again. Like I said, once you're done, once you've pulled all these off, what you're going to do is you're going to unhoop the ones you've done. So we started the machine back up. Unhoop the ones you've done. Get the next set hooped. Then you worry about cutting away your backing, folding the garment, getting it ready for delivery to the customer. So that way, if, if for some reason you get a phone call, you, ain't get back, you don't get back, you're already hooped up. You're ready to go. And you're not trying to do that at the last minute and end up mishooping a, a garment for some reason. We're just about done here. Bang, ready to go. And hey, we're going to do something that I am qualified to do. At this time, I want to use the other start button. There we go. We're back in production again with the 1504 Avance.